did this pastor go viral for trashing Trump or was he just speaking a biblical truth? Well, let's find out together. Some of you bring politics into the church. You think that politics is spiritual stuff. Politics is of this world. You think it's your duty to be political about this, that, and the other. No, your duty is to serve the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, body, and strength and love your neighbor as yourself. Don't be talking to me about my spiritual responsibility to vote. I don't have a spiritual responsibility to vote. I have a civic privilege. Don't be telling me that voting is spiritual. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you don't read and pray. Mm. When you don't read and pray, you, you say, wow, there's a Bible out now that includes the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Isn't that wonderful? No. No, it's disgusting. Mm. It's blasphemous. Mm. It's a ploy. Are you kidding me? Some of you are so encouraged by that. Let me tell you something. The gospel is not an American gospel. It is the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. But pastor, I bought the Bible. Really? You're telling me that you're encouraged because someone took a government, U.S. Constitution, a document that says we are of the people, by the people, and for the people, the people, the people, the people. Mm. And you have put it right beside the Word of God, which is eternal, unchanging, which says, of him, by him, through him, to him, from him are all things. And you're going to put those together and be happy about it? God forbid. Now, you can get mad if you want to, but I'm going to tell you something. If you glory in that kind of thing, you don't have a prayer life. If you glory in that kind of mess, political mess, you do not know what the Word of God says. I'm going to rear back and tell you something. This is not my home. This world is not my home. I've been sent out just like the 70 were sent out. You've been put here and sent out just like the 70 were sent out. We've been, been put here as strangers and pilgrims, and we are passing through. I am just walking through. I'm just renting an apartment for a little while in this strange and foreign land. No, sir. My real citizenship mm. is in heaven from mm. which we look for the Lord Jesus Christ. Bible is the King James Version and also includes our founding father documents. Yes, the Constitution. And I think you all should get a copy of God Bless the USA Bible now and help spread our Christian values with others. It's my favorite book. It's a lot of people's favorite book. Wow. Um, just a couple of things. There are just so many things I really want to say here. Uh, first and foremost, everything this man said, I agree 100%. Everything he said, literally, he just preached the gospel. Yes, politics affects every one of us, right? Um, but at the same time, what we don't want to do is to politicize, politicize the gospel. I think that's that's the the message that because we are we are not of this world, even though we're in this world. However, he can be one hundred. He's one hundred percent correct, and I do agree with him. But that doesn't mean that the promotion of the Bible or the studying of the Bible is wrong. And I will explain. Wait a minute. I will explain what I mean by that. I support one hundred percent any opportunity to share the gospel or to uh, encourage people to get the Bible. That I do support. We need the Bible. We need not just the physical book. We need to get it and then read it. If we get it and read it and then act upon it 
I believe that so much evil we see in our society today will not be there. The other accusations uh, they had against uh, pre uh, Trump was the fact that he was selling the Bible for about $60. Boy, first and foremost, uh, I'm an author. I've written a book, and I know the cost involved in just producing a book, okay? $60, there are several. If you go on Amazon, for example, you're going to get some Bibles that are really, really expensive, depending on what you're getting. So that part, uh, I, I don't think that's really a problem. This is where the problem comes in. The Word of God is holy. The Word of God is powerful. When you open the Bible, all you want there is nothing but to hear what God has to say. However, and by the way, commentaries, there are some Bibles that have commentaries, and that's okay as long as they are pointing you to get a deeper understanding of what you're reading, but more importantly, get the deeper revelation of who God is. But when you insert certain text like the Bill of Rights or, um, or Constitution, then it begs the question, what message are we trying to portray there? How does that help me to get to know this Jesus? And I think that's probably where I may disagree with President Trump on that. But other than that, I, I have no problem with anyone promoting the Bible. Some of us may judge his motives. That's fair. Some of some of us may think he's doing that for political reason. That's understandable. But the actual promotion of the Bible, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So to me, him charging people for the Bible is not an issue. But where I do have an issue is the purpose of this God Bless America Bible, which I think deviates from why we have a Bible in the first place. The purpose of the Bible is to study God's word that he's revealed to us, so that way we can learn more about him and his gospel message for mankind. And so anything else included in those Bibles, whether they be commentaries or study tools, should aid towards that goal. When we read commentaries, they help us to understand and study the scriptures better. But when Trump includes these American documents inside of the Bible, even if they are American documents that we love and appreciate, to include them into God's holy word as somewhat of an adjacent to scripture not only seems wrong, but also doesn't seem to help people study the word of God better. Absolutely. John raised an interesting point there. Uh, I think that's really the goal. Is is the commentary uh, drawing me closer or helping me to understand the word of God better or is this just, you know, nice to have stuff in the Bible like American history? I think that's where we're going to draw the line. You know, Christians, we're going to be careful that we treat the word of God with holiness, with, with love, with, um, with reverence, if you will, because that's what it is. If, if anything, it doesn't matter whether it is any other history, if it's not helping you to understand the word of God better, I think it doesn't belong there. I really doesn't think I don't think he belongs there. So I, that's really where the whole, the pastor is coming from. I I do agree with him, but again, we can still uh, you can agree with everything this pastor said and still be a Trump supporter. I don't see anything wrong with that. You can agree with everything this pastor said and still support him, or you can agree with everything this pastor said and still don't support him. So that's not the, that's not the point here. The point is. We need to draw something out that we don't want to make sure that we are not, especially Christians, believers, that we don't look at people as the Savior, right? We turn to Jesus. We so we can support whoever we want to support, but at the same time, we want to make sure that uh, we give God due reverence. And of course, His Word, because at the end of the day, this is not our home. Heaven is our home, and that's where nothing but we are passing through this world. We want to make sure we transform it for the glory of God as we look forward to the return of Jesus Christ. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Again, the purpose of this is not to be divisive or create confusion, division, or um, you know, depending on where you stand. But I think it's just to bring to light the truth that this pastor spoke. But at the same time, we want to make sure that we promote the reading of the word of God yes bye but also promote the reading of the word of God which I don't have any problem with God bless you let me know what you think again please like this video um it really helps to get it out to more people subscribe if you're new and I look forward to seeing you again soon